So yeah, we're headed to breakfast, then we're gonna get the day started. Something that I wanna talk about right off the bat because I actually made a mistake in the last video is this hat right here. The uncivilized hat is going to be available next Wednesday, May 10th, 7 p.m. Eastern time, MrFormerSimpson.com, $28. It's adjustable in the back, so big head, little head, you're good. And then, you know, uncivilized, embroidered in there. So, yeah, so that's the details on that. It is limited quantity, so make sure if you want one, you are on the site, ready to go at 7 p.m., and you should be okay. All right, to breakfast. That no carb life right here for me. Bacon and cheese omelets. This guy, diet hasn't started yet. Okay, back in the lab, and today we're gonna talk about something that we've wanted to talk about for a long time. We've had this on the list to do, and that is 10 sneakers that changed my life. You know, maybe next we do a 10 sneakers that changed Bucket's life, Although I think there's going to be a lot of overlap yeah, with us. You know yeah. what I mean? So um, I don't want to waste a lot of time talking. We have 10 of them that we have to get through. So, you know, sneakers has been a big part of both of our lives for a long time. You know, growing up in New York City, being basketball players, sneakers is a part of things. Yeah. And, you know, there, there's like a timeline to it. You know what I mean? Obviously, we were growing up in the 90s. That's when we were the most impressionable, so a lot of the sneakers are from that yeah. era. But there's other stuff, and there's yeah. stuff from all along the line. I don't want to waste too much time talking about it. Let's jump right in. See how I did that? I jumped right in. There you go. Boom. There you go. Crash. Swan. No, swan dive. Swan dive, perfect score. Okay. Ten. No splash. Number 10 is the Jordan 11 Concord. Yes, I had been into sneakers. I had noticed what the older kids in my neighborhood were wearing. I had noticed what different basketball players were wearing. But the Jordan 11 was, that was the first sneaker that I can ever remember where I was just like in awe. A friend of mine wore them to the park, was playing ball on them, and I was like, I need that shoe. Now, I wasn't able to get that shoe because Mom Dukes was not buying Jordans back then. Strictly I need that shoe in... 10 years. In 10 years, exactly. I need that shoe, but instead Mom Dukes gives you the Spalding Special. Okay. But that shoe is really kind of where it started for me if I have to pick a start. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that's number 10. Number nine is the Reebok Answer One in the white and red colorway. This was the first nice sneaker that I ever had. It was the first shoe where I was like, okay, these aren't goofy. I was crazy about Allen Iverson. I absolutely loved his game. I mean, what kid did, who didn't love Allen Iverson? He was that dude. Yeah. On the court, off the court, he was cool. AI. And that sneaker, me playing ball, that's when I started really getting good and really putting in some work. And so I associate a lot of the kind of the beginning of my basketball with that sneaker. Yep. You know what I mean? So I just played in that sneaker till it absolutely fell apart. Number eight is the Nike Air Max 120, right around that same time period. Yep. That 97, 98, that was a hell of a time for sneakers, at least for me. The 120, when I saw that air bubble, and I've talked about this before, if you watch the videos, I've talked about it in multiple videos. I wrote an article for it on Finish Line, I think a couple other blogs. I've yeah. talked about it a ton. When I saw the air bubble, it was different back then because it wasn't like, there wasn't all these blogs and you know what's coming up. I had money saved up. I had walked in to the shoe store and I saw it on the shelf. And when I saw it on the shelf, it was like hallelujah lights coming down from heaven. I, I heard Morgan Freeman talk to me. He narrated it. He narrated from the moment I saw them. There once was a little boy. A little Irish boy. Yeah. No, uh, did, did uh, I go vain? Oh, you're the narrator. I do. Okay. Okay, go. There once was a little boy. Okay. He went into the Foot Locker. It wasn't a Foot Locker, but okay. His name was Andy Dufresne. Oh, wow. 
wow, you throw, you throw me in a slam. You throw it. <laughs> wow. He wanted some sneakers. <laughs> he was Evan Almighty. Oh, wow. Just got to mix them all up. Oh, wow. There you go. Okay. That's more or less, I mean, he's paraphrasing, but that's more or less what happened. When I put that sneaker on my foot, it was a different kind of feeling. It, it really, really was. And that's what it's all about. Number seven is the Nike Air Penny One. And now these aren't exactly in chronological order. I didn't go get a release date for every particular sneaker. These are just the sneakers that jumped out yeah. at me when they jumped out at me. So for the Penny One, I was at basketball practice and my man walked through the gym doors and that's what he had on his feet. We talked about Iverson. Penny was for a short time on that same level. Yeah. You had the Penny commercials. Me being a tall point guard, I always loved Penny. He was one of my favorite players. When I saw that sneaker, he just came in, walked in the gym, strutting his stuff. The excitement when I saw them, and it, again, it was another one of these sneakers where I was like, ah, I want those so, so bad. But parents didn't have the money to buy them for me, so I had to hoop in whatever I had on. I was getting buckets. Trust and believe I was getting buckets. Number six is the Nike SC Trainer 2, the Bo Jacksons in the Auburn colorway. That shoe, again, it, I'm starting to see a familiar trend here. I, I didn't think about it beforehand. I see one of my friends with it on, and I'm like, yo, that's awesome. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I saw my man Odd Day at school, came walking down the street, and boom, he had those on his feet, and I hadn't seen him before. It was like Keanu Reeves. Whoa. 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 Wow. That sneaker though, it, it did something to me. This is when I was really getting into sneakers and this is when I was extremely impressionable and this is when I was trying to figure out what was cool and what I liked and what made me feel good and all those type of things, you know what I mean? So that's number six. Number five, the Nike More Up Tempo. When I saw the air bubble and then I saw air written on the side, it, at that point I thought, it was the coolest thing I had ever seen in my life. And I know this would be on your list as well. Yeah. Top of the list. This is like an all-time great. So Will Chamberlain. Don't ever say Will Chamberlain again. What is Will Chamberlain the all-time great of? Will Chamberlain? No. Like his like widow's peak like fade? <laughs> so that's number five. Number four. The Nike Shocks BB4. Oh, Ooh. number four. Meant to be. We didn't plan it like that. Now I was buying sneakers with my own money. You know, the, the Mom Dukes specials from Marshall's were out of there. I had a great summer that summer. We were traveling, you know, with AAU basketball. I was out in Vegas. I was out in California. A kid who hadn't left the tri-state area really much at all, you know, I was really out seeing the country. I was all over the place in these different cities. And the BB4 again, when I put them on, it was something about it. It's like the Deion Sanders, look good, feel good, play good. You know what I mean? When I had those on my feet, I just felt good. It, it felt, I felt different. It felt like it took my game from here to here. Number three is the Kobe 6 Grinch. Now we fast forwarded even further. Why the Kobe 6 Grinch? Because I love the Kobe 6 model. It's my favorite model. It was a model that I was hooping in professionally over in Europe at the time. You know, sneakers get tied to moments and time Absolutely. and time periods. And we've talked about that a lot. So for me, it was the Kobe 6 and the Grinch. That colorway got me re-excited about sneakers in a sense. Between 2008 and 2010 was kind of like a lull for me a little bit. Step back from Jordan a little bit, you know what I mean? And it was mostly Air Maxes. Yeah. Anyways, when I saw the Kobe Grinch, it not only was a sneaker I was playing basketball in, but it got me excited again about Nike basketball off the court. It had that super fresh off-court appeal, but on the court was just like crazy, like loud, 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 like stunting on them. This is banana. So the Kobe Grinch is my favorite Kobe of all time. And that shoe really kind of catapulted me back where sneakers really kind of started for me. Number two is the Nike SB Skunk. Now, this changed my life. I'm not a skateboarder. I've never been a skateboarder. I tried to skateboard a few times. I can go from point A to point B on a skateboard. Debatable. Debatable? Yeah. Okay. I'll debate that. Okay. I'm nice on a longboard. You're pretty good yeah. on a longboard. I'm pretty good on a longboard. I tried back in the day. I chipped my tooth. I that was hung, it. I hung it up. That no, was it. No moss. No moss. And Nike SBs, I wasn't into early like some of my friends were. The reason why I say this is one that changed my life, it's not, it didn't change my life the way 
the Jordan 11 did, or it didn't change my life the way the 120 did, where it's like this, I'm just mesmerized. Yeah. I think it changed my life and really both of our lives. Yeah. Because it's the first sneaker that we reviewed on YouTube. Yeah. It's our oldest video on YouTube right now, the Nike SB Skunk, over four and a half years ago. Yep. Here we are. Yeah. Making videos. I'm not going to get on some whole sentimental, super uh, emotional thing, but this YouTube for us is awesome. You know, my brother and I, you know, we get to work together every day. We get to do cool shit. We get to interact with you all. We get to create content. We get to do something that we're really, really passionate about. And the Nike SB Skunk was the start of that, yeah. sneaker-wise. Yeah. Uh, that, that's all I'll say for now. Number one, last but not least, the Adidas Ultra Boost. Boost is life. Boost changed my life because it's so comfortable and it's very, very dope at the same time. That Boost is phenomenal. Yeah. So these aren't, by the way, this is not, we didn't put these in order like, which one changed my life the most or which one was the best. We kind of just went from older and kind of moved to newer um, somewhat. You know, I know some of them are a little bit out of order, but that, that's the general kind of gist of it. But those are my 10. Those are 10 sneakers that changed my life. And I know that sounds dramatic, but like I said, sneakers have been a very important part of my life for a very long time. So I just wanted to share that with you all. I think it's, it's a cool concept and it's something that I'm interested in. Leave a comment below and let me know what is one sneaker. You can do as many as you want, but let me know one sneaker that changed your life and why. How did it change your life? I'm very, very interested to hear what all of you have to say. I'm going to go through and read all of the comments because I'm very curious what sneakers did for you, what these sneakers that I mentioned did for me. So that's it for now. Thank you for watching. We really, really appreciate you. If you enjoyed the video, hit that thumbs up button. If you want to see more stuff like this, hit that thumbs up button. If this video gets 4,000 thumbs ups, Buckets is going to do a collection video. You heard it here first. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss anything. Brand new video. We're almost going every day now. Yeah. It was Monday through Friday. Now it's pretty much going to be an everyday thing. Just subscribe so you don't miss anything. I don't have anything else. You have anything else? Nope. We are out of here. So we are headed to breakfast. Milk was a bad choice. Good. Oh, wow. <laughs> I see what you did there.